Let's now, for more on Westminster, joining us now is Bronwyn Maddox, Institute for Government Director. We are just getting the German government and the German economy minister spokesperson saying that actually they hope the UK election result will bring economic clarity. Will it? Well, it will certainly take the UK out of the European Union. Uh, whether that brings economic clarity will depend an awful lot on the future relationship, which has yet to be negotiated. And I think the coming year could bring another cliffhanger in that. That's not going to be an easy negotiation. But there's certainly there is clarity. You've, you've removed one whole bit of, um, of, of problems of the source of unclarity, which is uh, the building behind us, Parliament, uh, really getting in the way of what the Prime Minister wanted to do. So some things have got clearer. I thought of you this morning. I was thunderstruck at Northern Ireland and the combination with Scotland as well. The nationalism of this election versus the unionism of this election. Where are we going to be in 12 months? That is a really, really good question. We are going to spend that 12 months, in my view, talking about whether Scotland and Northern Ireland stay within the United Kingdom. This is an extraordinary thing, given that the Conservatives call themselves the Conservative and Unionist Party, and yet it is possible that the version of Brexit that they've set themselves on actually precipitates the breakup of the UK. Scotland is now, it's done, uh, the Scottish Nationalist Party has done very well in this election. It's going to take that as a mandate to... Is uh, to have a burden for the SNP? How do they extricate themselves from this trial and move on where they can really focus on a referendum? Well, they don't have the right to call a referendum on their own. That is going to take legislation in sure. Westminster. So if Johnson says no, you've got a standoff yeah. between the, 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 the SNP saying, look, we've got a mandate. Lots of uh, people yeah. uh, voted for us. We've got more MPs than ever. That's a mandate for a new referendum. And Johnson saying, no, I don't want to give you one. Um, and you get into quite a classic battle. And uh, while there is you know, United Nations recognition of the principle of, 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 of parts of countries you know, uh, determining their own identity, that's not yeah. the same thing as, as right. the right of bits of countries to break up. Uh, we're looking at pictures of the Prime Minister Boris Johnson just arriving at Buckingham Palace in a Jaguar XJ Long wheelbase. Uh, oh, Matt Miller so just true. confirms that. Brandon Maddox, what kind of advice would the Queen give the new Prime Minister? Well, uh, as we have heard it, uh, last piece of advice when he first turned up the last time uh, to say he was a uh, prime minister was to say, why would anyone want the job? I think she might um, not repeat that one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she might indeed not say very much because uh, one of the many bits of protocol that has got broken recently right. is people started quoting the Queen much more uh, yes. than, they, than, than they used to. So I think we can expect it to be a, a quite, a, quite a short exchange, but she might say, well done. Too short a visit. We'll have to do this much longer next time. Bronwyn Maddox with us as well.